30 times. Ten times more. Two times more. Letting go and stop. So our intelligence is going into destructive force, why? Limited identity. But right now, can I just open up the borders of this nation and say, I love everybody? We are not there. We are not it there. The world is not it there. We cannot do that, all right? We still need nationality, we still need all these things. But we can hold it little lightly. We don't have to hold it like it is absolute. It is not absolute, it's something that we have done. Our idea of family is our making. Our idea of community is our making. Our idea of race, religion, everything is our making. Our idea of nationality is our making. So don't treat it like it's an absolute. What would happen if we opened up every border in every country? See, that would be possible only if there was no economic disparity. If there was no economic disparity, there were no national boundaries about two centuries ago. People could walk wherever they want. There were no visas and passports anywhere because economically, reasonably, everybody was in the. What about race, though? Would people be, you know? Well, India, India is a classic example. Mm. If you if you travel from north to south, every 50 kilometers, people will look different. They dress different. They talk different, and they eat different. Every every few kilometers, you will see people are different, and we have no problem. That's what. That's how it would have been. Yeah. Only because you protected yourself for too long, now race seems to be one big issue, right? Mm. But the money disparity, you think, is it the It is the economic right? disparity, which is difficult to handle. Yeah. Right now, if you take away the boundaries of this country, maybe half the world it will be right here in the United States. And that will not be a solution, mm. because you will become poor. <laughs> right. Okay? Right. The United States will be poverty-ridden mm. if that happens. Thirty times. Ten times more. Two times more. 
letting go and stop. But if you uh, totally wall yourself out, then also you will become poor in a different way. So this has to be… first thing is if your identity is little flexible, you will do things judiciously as it's necessary for the situation, an appropriate action. Not… our actions are never ever absolute. Our actions are just about being appropriate to the situations in which we exist. Yeah. If there are some parents watching or listening and they're like, wow, this is very eye-opening, I've never thought of it this way. They've always raised their kids a certain way, their kids are between… See, this, this word, this is a word that I hear very often in United States, we don't hear this in India. <laughs> I was raised this way. Yeah. People say, I was raised Catholic, I was raised Jewish, I was raised Baptist, I was raised this way. See, you don't raise human beings, you only raise cattle. <laughs> a human right. being is a possibility that needs to be nurtured, mm. not raised yeah. in a particular way. So you are raising people in a certain way because you are already committed to something that you think is absolute. Wow. Nothing is absolute, life is a possibility. Will you allow your children to explore that possibility or do you want to make them like concrete blocks that they come out in a particular shape, raised in a certain way? No, this is not the way to handle humanity. So, say these parents are hearing this and they want to nurture their children in a different way. Yes, the first thing they must do is… Yeah, but they've been taught something their whole uh, lives. They can do their prayers as they know it but let them know that it's not absolute. Mm -hmm. They can sing their national anthem with pride, wonderful. Let them know it's not absolute. Mm -hmm. Thirty times. Ten times more. Two times more. Let it go and stop. Let them also teach them a two lines of global anthem, if not cosmic anthem, one global anthem which includes every life's well-being. Mm. Every child should sing this in every school. A global anthem? Yes, we need to make a global anthem. Yeah. I'm singing Indian anthem with great uh, fervor and you're mm. singing American anthem. What does it mean? Next moment we get an opportunity, we're going to pull out each other's eyeballs. <laughs> right. Yes. Yeah. Not because you're bad or I'm bad, because I'm Indian and you're American, all right? <laughs> right. It's a global anthem. We need a global anthem for sure. Today, technology has many ways made national boundaries meaningless, all right? People are sitting in India and working in America mm -hmm. right now, whole lot of people. Sitting in India and walking in America? Working in America. Working, oh yeah. Yes, they are. Yeah, they're getting paid, yeah. You pick up a phone, <laughs> the Indian guy is, is practiced American accent and he's pre pre speaking from Bangalore. <laughs> right, right, yeah. So when national boundaries, borders have become so porous, it's time to work towards that. It's not, see, tomorrow morning if you open up all the borders, there'll be disaster. Yeah. 
we must know these things we made at certain times for certain conveniences which is not absolute the lines that we have drawn on this planet are not absolute we just made it for certain convenience yeah. it's time to relax it <laughs>